just having a look at Group A. Both of these players winning their first matches to love. I mean, Karim's really applying the pressure now. It was almost like they were testing each other those, those first couple of points. And now Karim's just stepped up his game and really getting into it. It's just going faster and faster. Oh, that's a great shot. Gawad thought he'd hit an outright winner. He stopped. And out. He didn't account for the way that Farag is able to move. That's a great get. Yeah, really good trickle boast from Gawad. And out. Four, three. Really good hands in the front there. Down. Didn't take advantage of that. And out. Eight, He's in a good position. He's looking to be deceptive here, Just Gawad. Wait. Too many options, I guess. Oh, what a shot. Can't believe that's Wow. I'm sure Gow had hit three winners in that rally. Did Farah get the first one? I mean, this is an outrageous shot. No, yeah, he does. He was right under there. Oh, and the error from Farag, really well Gawad played by Gawad. Did so well because halfway through that game, it looked like it was going to be Farag running away with it. And from nowhere, Kareem Abdul Gawad steps back on the gas and gets that game in 19 minutes, 11-9. So he's leading for one game to love. Fast and furious, this rally. But they've gone mostly Gawad's way in the last game. Every time he's speeded things up, he's always been there. That's an unbelievable shot from Farag. Yeah, it's unbelievable. That's a great lob. Turn the rally on its head with that lob. Yeah. He does that so well. And Outrageous. can't afford to be absent-minded. He really has every shot counts now, especially with a player like Kim. Down. Well, two match balls for Kareem Abdul Gawad. Match ball. Ali's keep keeping oh. it safe. Yeah, but he's in trouble. Oh. That is rapid. Oh. Go ahead, stopped. What? What? Stroke to Gowad. Oh. Always played a stroke. I, I was thinking let ball, but... I didn't, I didn't oh, right. think he stopped. I think he played it. He definitely pulls out of it with, with the bows, but I mean, he can't hit that, can he? It's going to be a stroke. He can't hit that straight. Ga uh, Farag's going to go ballistic, but it's probably the right decision. It is a stroke. It is the match. That is Farag going ballistic. He definitely pulled out of the shot. He, would have hit, he wouldn't normally have hit that ball, I don't think. He'd have no. hit that straight. He couldn't hit it straight because of Farag's position. 
They're having a bit of a chat. The fired up Farag. Can we hear it? No, we can't because I was talking all over it. <laughs> I know that these two have won a match just yet. So they'll be looking to get their first points on the board. Beautiful stuff. No sign of any errors yet from Avorga. Six <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The attitude of Paul Cole though is second to none. Although he's eight one down at the moment, won't stop him from trying to get his way into this first game. Scurrying around, he did two dives against Gawad. Better from Cole. A few claps in the crowd as well. I presume that will be his mum and dad primarily. And out two seven. And Naylor. Ten three game ball. Down. Well, the error coming. So Abulgar. 11-3, game to Abogar. Abogar Hugely convincing first game. Paul Cole, a lot of work to try and do to get Abogar out of this rhythm. Thinking the, the players were in the men's uh, who are playing in their first World Tour finals. You've got two of them here with Paul Cole and Abogar, and then you've got also the Peruvian Puma in the mix. Oh my goodness me, that is a you. joke shot. Check it, it, check it. Let's check this out. Delayed clap from the crowd, but look at this. I think they were stunned at Final first. Oh, I mean, it wasn't a tight ball from Paul Cole, but what was impressive was where it's behind him. Look at that. Not up. Stop. And out, 8-6. Down. Well, this is uh, all about the bullet. He's got four match balls for a two-love victory. 10-6, match ball. Huge points for him. Well, there's a lot of pressure from Abelgar. Not really ever seen Cole this rattled or disgruntled on the court. Down. So Paul Cole misjudging that one. Abelgar scores a very solid win. A mature performance there from Abelgar. An unbelievable first game, which set him up really. Just 27 minutes for the bullet. El Shabagi, it's a bit more of a meatier group in terms of how close it is with the six uh, points to four for Tar Tarek Moment. The fact that he couldn't actually move forwards because of Rosner's position. So he couldn't go forwards to take it earlier before that second bounce. And the ball was very close to him. Great shot. He's playing Thank really you. well here. He really is playing very well. Great attitude from here, Rosner. And out, six all. Again, the crowd. Oh, what a shot. Shabagi, he's brought it out. It's become an iconic shot amongst the and leisure centres in the UK and around eight. the world. Not just in the UK. It's a world sport. Well, Shabagi increasing the tempo here. Rosner is jumping on everything. Too so fast in the end. Ridiculously sharp from El Shabagi onto that so quickly. Oh, 
Oh, it's a tired shot for yeah, Rosner. Slightly overstretching on that. It was an unbelievable Rosner effort from Rosner. One game to love. So Mohamed El Shabagi continues his positive run. Another physical first game. 16 minutes. Shabagi leading one game to love. It doesn't matter how fit you are if you've not actually had some uh, days, and I mean a good amount of days playing in humidity and training in humidity. You still it still hits you. It doesn't matter. It's not down to fitness when it comes to humidity. No. Oh, what a shot. That's, That's a nice little drop shot. shot. Yeah, it was gorgeous. And out, 3-6. Love the way it comes off the strings of Simon Rosner there. Well, really tough lunges going on on the court here. This is showing just how brutal it is with those big steps into the front corners. And out seven, so three. Really tough movements into the front. Down. Yeah, slight collapse in the core there Nine from four. Rosner. Another sign of the fatigue. This being the first match that he's actually won two, love. And there, 11, four, he's getting it. So, Elgibagi, Simon Rosner. Two games to love. 11, nine, played 11, a terrific four. first game, struggling out there with the conditions and the pace. Shabagi looking very, very solid. 26 minutes. It's impressive from Shabagi. Two game to love victory for him in round three of the group stages. There we go. 10 points for him in Group B. And then uh, we've still got plenty of life left in Group A as well. And also for the second place runner up between Diego Elias and Tariq Moman.